Good morning here from Melbourne Airport, where today we'll be flying with Virgin Australia up to Brisbane. As we're flying in business class, we can use the priority counters here, or just use the self-serve ones if you want. Although security is now a bit of a walk from check-in, and in the opposite direction to all of the gates, we at least get priority security at this time, so we're through very quickly. Now that we're airside in Terminal 4, we have to walk back towards Terminal 3. It's in this walkway between terminals where you'll find the Virgin Lounge, which we can access today. There's a good variety of chairs across the lounge and plenty of views right out across the apron. Food-wise, the selection wasn't the best I've ever seen, as the main hot choices were just bacon and eggs, but there was a good barista who was quite busy this morning, and a pancakes machine too. Some lunch choices briefly came out before we left, so I grabbed this chicken wrap, which was quite nice, but not really the business lounge quality of food I'd expect. But there wasn't a need to eat much anyway, as we'd soon be boarding and getting fed more in the air. While we waited, there was plenty to look at outside, or inside at the numerous TVs playing questionable material by airport standards. But then our plane arrived on its inbound flight, so it was time to head to the gate. While there was a bit of a delay in boarding, once the call was made we were one of the first to get on board thanks to our priority. My seat for this two hour flight is 1A. This plane features Virgin's original business class seats and hasn't been upgraded. And we'll take a look at these in more detail once we're up in the air. Unlike Qantas, Virgin served a pre-departure drink of orange juice or water before the jet bridge pulled away and we taxied out for departure. Service in the air started with a round of drinks before the meals were served. Only the exact number of meals, being eight for the full cabin, were loaded, so some people were left without a choice. But being the first person to have their order taken, I got my choice of Kung Pao chicken. The main meal itself was delicious, and the cheese and crackers a nice addition too, but a proper dessert would have been appreciated. Now let's do a seat tour, which to be honest didn't really go as planned. The pouch attached to this bulkhead was quite loose, but when I attempted to demonstrate this, it completely separated from the wall. The rest of the seat was much more cooperative, 
with the standard extendable drinks table and seat recline button, although the recline isn't very much by business class standards. On the other side, the tray table comes out of the armrest like so. It's adjustable and can be folded in half, and although it can rest on the centre console, I still found it quite flimsy, as my entire lunch nearly slid off when the flight attendant placed it down. The headrest is very large and quite adjustable, and there are still air vents installed overhead. Although while it looks like spots for power were made into the seat, no charging of any kind was available on board. They do offer some streaming to your own device which seem to have a reasonable selection of things to watch, and business class passengers are supposedly entitled to free Wi-Fi, although I couldn't get mine to work. Let's now have a look at the business class bathroom at the front of the plane. It's a standard 737 loo and was clean enough, although it did have some Virgin Australia branded soap. Soon enough it was time to descend into Brisbane, and we were treated to a great view over the city on final approach. Even after disembarking in Brisbane and checking out the great views of our aircraft, our so far alright experience with Virgin still wasn't over, as all business class passengers are able to access the lounge on arrival. The lounge here in Brisbane had a similar style to the one in Melbourne, with plenty of seats around although the food was again a bit underwhelming, but still filling enough for a quick feed before heading into the city. Overall, that was a reasonable experience with Virgin Australia. Compared to Qantas, the seats on board do lack some features, although the meal is probably quite comparable, although the lounges are more on par with Qantas clubs rather than Qantas business lounges, although being able to access the lounge on arrival is certainly a good perk. <laughs> 